Welcome to Adobe InDesign CC. In this tutorial, we're going to discover how to create type on a path. So the text tool allows you to basically create type uh, in a text frame. And if you hold the mouse down, which you can't see currently because of this uh, tool pops up to the left there. So what I'm going to do is actually uh, grab this and, and have it float out a little bit here. And uh, if I hold the mouse down on this tool, you'll see there's a type on a path tool here. And so I'm actually going to bring the tools over here on the side. So you can you can basically drag that uh, any of these text frames out these frames here, uh, or you can even use these uh, shapes here and convert them to paths too. So it doesn't matter which one you use. So I'm just going to grab the rectangle tool here and draw out a rectangle. And um, what I can do is click on the black arrow and I can come in here and actually double click. I'm going to select some of this text that's in here. And then I'm just going to copy it by hitting Control C or Command C on the Mac. And then I'm going to come back to Type Tool and choose that type on a path tool. And then as I come close to the, to the object, you'll see it's the shape has changed this little squiggle here. Uh, you can compare that to the regular type tool, which basically will give you this turn from the book square to the circle, meaning if I click in here, type will essentially be on the inside. Um, I can just do that real quick just to demonstrate, but you can see here what has happened. So I don't want to do that. I actually want to undo that. Um, what I want to do is instead choose the type on a path tool, and when I click on it, what will happen is I can now paste that text in there. And um, on the black arrow let's go ahead and zoom in here so you can see this a little better uh, maybe zoom out just a tiny bit there we go uh, what you want to be aware of is as the type goes around here there are these two little lines here which uh, represent the in and out points of the type so if you drag one you'll start to see what happens uh, that's sort of the left and then here's the right side or the, the left and the no, this is the left and this is the right because it's wrapping around. You'll also notice that the overset symbol is here. Uh, actually, if I draw another rectangle, I'll go ahead and do that real quick here, um, and actually click on the black arrow, I could come in here and load this, uh, this overset here and then bring it into this other shape here and um, you know, you could see it still has more overset here, but because under the view menu down to extras, I have uh, show text threads turned on. You can see how this threads to here. So it goes last in community college, his artwork includes blah, blah, blah along there. So that's pretty interesting. Um, let's go ahead and talk about some of the options here. So currently, right now, with this text, if I drag this back here, we'll go ahead and whoop, see, if you overlap the other one, what will happen is they'll both disappear. So do understand that you have a left and a right uh, sort of bracket here of the start and end point. You have options on how this text is displayed. So to see those options, we go under the Type menu and go to Type on a Path and then choose Options here. And so the, the option menu pops up and we have the first thing is we could flip it so it goes inside instead of outside like that. Then there's the effect. Right now it's set to rainbow. Uh, so let me click in here and show you what skew will look like. So skew will have a very different kind of effect. And then we have the 3D ribbon, which has another kind of effect, and a stair step, which you can see here. And then finally the gravity which gives you a really funky kind of uh, stretch look. Um, each of these, I'll go back to Rainbow here, uh, is assigned basically an alignment and by default set to the baseline of the type. You could choose the center here, uh, you could choose the D center or the A center and you can see how that all changes there. So again I'm going to switch it back to the baseline and um, Pretty much that's it. You could uncheck the preview to kind of see how it goes, but just cancel out. So yeah, there's lots of fun things you can do. You know, I recommend trawling the uh, polygon, the ellipse, you know, and uh, just try a different shape, see how you like it. You can also uh, create type on a path that you create using the pen tool here. 
So if I click and just drag and create this kind of cool path here, I'll go ahead and grab the uh, type on a path tool and then just click and I can start typing along here. Uh, once it clicks, there we go. And now I can start typing along here. Pretty much works the same as the, uh, the individual shapes. You still have the starting point and the end point, which again, um, yeah, have fun exploring uh, type on a path. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial in Adobe InDesign CC. Until next time, cheers.